So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays where we go through a new DAX function every Friday. And it is also Power Week, meaning that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update. This time is March 2019, and there are two new DAX functions, contain strings and contain strings exact. And we're going to cover those. I have a small comment on one of them, actually. But all of that in just a second. You ask me where my Curve Tech News intro is? Enjoy. Okay, so welcome back. Are you ready for today's Tax Fridays? Okay, so we are going to see if a word is contained in a string of words, okay? So we're going to try to find where in this list the word car is, okay? And if it is in there, because contain strings is a true or false. Let me show you. So first of all, we go and we create a new measure and we write contain string text and we put contain string and uh, we put selected value. So it goes one by one and we go through our items list. So we, we say go through every row on the list and see if you can find the word card. And if you do, return true. Easy busy, right? So if car is contained in one of these rows, just let me know by returning true. So we put it in there. Car is in the second one, so it says true. Easy, right? So contain string is actually case insensitive, which means that it doesn't matter if I put car like that or if I put car like that, it's still true. It will still find it. Great, right? Okay, now we go to the next one. Contain string exact. Let's go new. No, 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 no. New measure. And then we put contain string exact. Shift enter. And then contain string exact. And then we put again selected values, item. So it goes row by row. And then we put exactly the same thing, car. And listen what it says here. It says returns true if one string contains another string. The same for a containing string. Uh, but, oh, check this. It says contain string exact, as you'd say. It's wrong in there. Okay, whatever. So contain string exact is actually case sensitive. What does that mean? Okay, if I write car in there, This is true, which is true, car is in there. But if I write car with a capital C, it says false. Okay. So where is my comment? Here's the thing. Um, I was expecting that because it said exact, that it will have to match the exact words. Uh, so for example, if we go here to contain string, Again, not contain string, contain a string. And I write here, instead of uh, horse, I write horse without the E. And as you can see, it says, oh, I found something that is similar to that down there. Great. Now, if I do the same here, I would expect it to be false. <laughs> you probably wonder why. Well, because it's exact. And it still is fine with so exact is has only to do with case sensitivity or insensitivity. It has nothing to do with having the exact word in there, which is a bit confusing for me. I would rather have something else than the word exact. And I think it would have been really nice to have the exact function because if you want to match exact with the word, you want these to return true only when it says horses, this is not the way to do it. You have to do a little bit of DAX black magic with find or search, okay? So great 
function it just makes everything so much clearer but I think it is a pity that it says exact when it's not and we definitely should have the exact function you know where you match exactly that word and nothing else small comments as always I can't help it sorry but yeah they should fix also the, the text coming out of here otherwise great small little functions and obviously you will be able to do a lot of things uh, with this little function more often than not you probably want to do it in power query but sometimes you need to do it in power bi or in dax so this is the way to do it nowadays but just remember exact word does not exist is not available in here it doesn't match it you will have to do other kind of magic to get that going on but uh, this is over today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you again on a new video on Monday. And until then, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Take care. Bye.